Almost daily, Louis Frank makes this bone-jarring journey in the waters off the west coast of Vancouver Island. He has trails all the way along. He's brought us along on the increasingly desperate search for his nephew, now missing more than 500 days. Right up here is um, where they first put Travis. For the first six days he was here. Oh yeah, thank you to everyone who bought tickets. 39-year-old Travis Thomas agreed to go to uninhabited Bartlett Island to help him recover from his struggles with alcohol, part of a downward spiral triggered by the death of his wife. Isolating people is a traditional practice in a house it to reconnect people to the land and help them battle their demons. For us, it's a place of healing. It's where we put our people out there that are struggling in their life to heal. But when it was time to leave, Thomas couldn't be found. So there are no trails here when you first started searching? No, there's nothing, nothing. For a year and a half, his family has searched. See, you get down this one, he uses it, he sleeps in this one. Finding hints he's alive. Oh, it goes in a ways, huh? Yeah. I'm still in there. There is a candle, a cross standing up. Like this cross found five months ago in this cave alongside pictures of his family. That what I hold on to is that one day it's going to come to me or to somebody that's out here and say, I'm ready to come home now. Take me home. And that's, that's what I wake up to every day. That maybe today is the day. Travis, it's Unc Sequest. Come have a crumbs of cinnamon bun with me. And by the fire, Chiqua. Chiqua in language means come here. They've set up this camp with clothes, and this is fish jerky, food, even a place to shave and clean up. All because Frank and others say they have repeatedly spotted Thomas on the island. But you've personally seen him? Yeah, I've seen him a few times. Yeah. yeah. Up on the hill above Up the camp here? Up on the here? hill, yeah. Yeah, he tears really long. He's got a real full beard now. Yeah. Because he hasn't shaved for a while. He believes Thomas watches from afar, convinced everyone he sees is an enemy. Since he's gone missing, hundreds of people have carried out several major searches. Travis, come out, Trav. Left behind, photos of family and pleas for a safe return. Do you have his uh, one where he's rapping with Alan? In the isolated village of a house it, relatives gather to share memories and watch videos. Just to hear him, you know, hear him, hear him talk. Guys can all go in, take the winter challenge. Thomas stood out. First as a star basketball player, and later as a coach. His aunt, Lisa Sabas, clings to hope. It's emotional, very emotional. There's days you cry, there's days you wonder. Anything for my brother. Woo. So they search. <laughs> even managing a laugh as they brave high seas, battling the waves in a winter storm. She says they don't have a choice. Well, what would you do if it was your child? What would you do? What would you be doing if that was your child out there? Hardest hit, Thomas's four children and grandchild. They miss their dad lots, yeah. mm -hmm. so much. It's images like this that give the family hope captured at night on a robotic trail camera. This video shows a figure on the island, which helped convince Alfred Dick to continue searching. After eight months, I was ready to call it quits, and then they start seeing him again, or they start getting signs that he was there. Despite their hardship, the police reluctant to criticize the decision to put Thomas on the island. The house's chief says no one else will be placed there without a thorough mental health screening. As for the ongoing search, they say the RCMP has fallen short. They've made their appearances. They've, you know, to say that we went out there, you know, but. 
While we were on the island, this RCMP helicopter appeared. A spokesperson said it was part of their ongoing efforts, which have included using tracking dogs and bringing in specialized search and rescue experts. So have you seen footprints down that mm -hmm. you think might be his? Or? When he goes in between the island. For now, the family continues the search largely on its own. My heart, it's, I know he's here because I've seen Travis. I heard Travis. I know he's alive. I know he is. But after more than 500 days, Louis Frank had to turn for home, once again without answers. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Bartlett Island, BC.